how's it going folks welcome back to another episode it's hotter than heck out here boys we even got the old water jug but we are at the auction banjo's excited Actually, i need a i need to get my checkbook here but that's when you know you're about to drop some coin no not really but um anyways we are going to the auction today it is a special auction because it is the pew pew and knife bands you want a new knife i might buy a bunch of knives i'm a big knife i'm a big pocket all, so. i lose them all that's what you know what i'm saying i lose pocket knives every day so we might be getting some pew pews and some knives there's a couple pew pews that they've been posting online that i'm interested in we're gonna have to go check them out there is a chicken in the back of that car in case you're curious this car? yeah and no there, there's some dog kennel. yeah oh yeah there's dog kennel. Oh, chickens yeah. in there he's hanging out so we're gonna go check it out see kind of what they're all is to offer and hopefully come home with something we don't already have. I'm always looking to get some pew pews and that being at an auction, I've never bought a pew pew at the auction before. I feel like that's kind of an interesting experience in and of itself. And there's probably gonna be some interesting pew pews here for us to look at, potentially buy, and then go home and test and see kind of how they do. See if it's, you know, I'm guessing I'm gonna get these at a discount from what retail price would be. So is it worth it to buy used? I don't know if I've ever bought a used pew pew before, maybe once or twice, but not really. Most of the time I buy them used or I buy them new. So anyways, with that being said, let's go see what they've got. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about, oh, Banjo. What do you want? All of them. Nice. Really? I, yeah, I need them. I lose. I, I go through about one a week. You like that guy? I don't know. Old timer? Oh, I've had that brand before. Old timer? Yeah, it's a good brand. Is it? Yeah. You're a big old timer guy or what? Yeah. Oh, they got hatchets, little pew pew rests. Earmuffs for babies and kids. I need it. I, yeah, I know. We need one for Banjo. Really? I'm voting on eight there. You think, you think so? Oh, yeah. Really? That'd be a cool. It would be a cool, cool addition. A Turkish Mauser would also Who be kind of cool. That guy. Who shot the Turkish Mauser. The Turkish. I've shot those before. Who shot it? What war is that from? A long time ago. <laughs> do you know? I have no idea. I would I get. Know. What do you think? World War Two? It's in a war. I feel like it's a fake. Like uh, Turkish Mauser mod which, 38. Which Call of Duty was before? That's more important. That's it. also true. I don't think I've ever had a Mauser for in COD. Zombie. That's like the first. Gun. So that'd have been Black Ops One. I could sure tell. Like you. First Comment down below. What, what's a, what's a Turkish Mauser mod 38 eight millimeter? Ooh. What's that? Ooh, a Nazi Mark Mauser. Oh, that's where I've heard Mauser. So maybe I don't. Is Mauser a brand then? Probably. I, I would know. assume the Germans did because if that's a Nazi, they were German, weren't they? Yeah. Or that happened in Germany, I think. Listen, you I never know. had history class. You or I did. I just it. I didn't pay attention. Dude, look at these look at these pews right there though. How does they even shoot though? You think they were oh, oh 100 percent Look at this guy. Oh, what's that little guy doing? That's a 45 410. That means you can shoot shotgun shells through <laughs> a pistol. This is next level. There's a high point 45. What is that? I think that's a nine mil. That one. Oh yeah, there it is, nine mil. Do you know if that's considered a handgun or no? Not sure. Really? New. What caliber does this guy shoot? It's like 22 or BB. BB gun. Oh, oh, it is. A I was gonna say that looks like the old Red Rider. What's this guy doing? Uh, that's BB. a BB as well. Oh, that would be, be cool. Sick. Look at this one. Oh, that's it's a little like pump. A cool pump. That's the old action. one pump chump. You know what I'm saying? Look at that guy. No, I don't. Really? You want some it's airsoft guns? I'll shoot those at you. Really? Oh, they have. Okay, we got shotgun shells. Could use these. Maybe use these. What do we got? Don't have that. No, nope. I don't have any of that. No, nope. I don't have. Was that nine? Yeah, yeah. some nine. Oh, really? I could always use some nine. Never heard of that brand. The surgeon major munition. That sounds pretty legit to me. What's down here? This is all 223. I'm just gonna buy that whole thing. Then then we'll be set. We'll be good to go. What kind of knives are these? Blade knives. Why are they so crooked? Like, why is there just a bunch of crooked knives? What do you think oh, these are actually for? Yeah. You got more? Can you buy me the, the old Dale Jr.? Yeah, big NASCAR guy. I'm a big Dale here. Jr. guy, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Big Jeff Gordon guy. Oh, I, we, really? we all know. We all know. Is this a Swiss Army knife? It sure is. Oh, no, really? You need, you need this one. What's that guy doing? Oh, is that a knife? Yeah. yeah. No way. Well, you got it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. So when someone thinks you're packing heat, you're actually packing a different kind of heat. You brought enough oh, yeah. to a you you brought a knife to a gunfight. No, you got it. Words are hard. I say we just buy everything at this point. And starting with this. Whatever this? Perfect. Cut a tree down or something. It's a pocket knife. Really? You should carry that. I'll, just, I'll, start, I'll start carrying that. All right. Well, you guys seen about fourth of the pews. Let's keep looking. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody loves a good old AR. I could always use some more ARs. I like that. I'm group. a big fan. Big fan of the ARs. Yeah, we even got. The old side grip. Little That's bench. a 12 gauge. I already have something just like yeah. that. Bought it from Walmart. Okay, we got a nine. Youth gun over here. <laughs> We should, get, we should get a youth gun. Ruger 22. It's a nice one. Oh, that's the old 410. That's a bolt action 410 shotgun. Yes, that'd that's be pretty cool. cool. That'd be cool. Okay, another nine. Yep. 20. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. That's the old 22. You're not a fan of that? or no. what, What's wrong? Nothing. You don't like the 22 or what? We already have one. Oh. We need another one. I guess we guess we do have it. Okay. Yep. I think 12. this suits Banjo really Ooh, well. Ooh, that is my color. Really? You no. a big teal guy or no, what? No. Banjo's a big teal guy. Big teal guy, actually. See? Big teal guy. Blue wing teal. Teal guy. Teal guy. Yeah. I think Banjo should get this one. We might be coming out of here broke. We're not sure what's going on here. Two four three. We don't have that. That's one caliber I do not have. Deer gun. I don't have a two forty three. Nine mil. Twelve, twelve gauge. gauge. Dude, that's a tight. That's, that's a, a twelve gauge. Tiny. Dude, that's so small. Imagine duck hunting that's with that. Crazy. Thing. Do you think that's even legal to duck hunt with? How long yeah. is a barrel? Or how long does it have to be? I don't know. I feel like 
like that's pretty dang small. It says it shoots a three inch shell. Oh, oh my, my god. That'd blow your freaking hand. It would just blow out of your hands. How do you work that, mister? How do you work this uh, thing, mister? Rit, dude, that's a cannon. That that's crazy. the old hand cannon, right? Oh, what? Little carry conceal? Wait, you can't do that. The old 20 gauge, 9, a 410. So they have a 410, 20, and 12. That's cool. That'd be cool to have all of them. Another 12, and... Oh, that's the over-under. You're a big over-under guy. That brand's crap. They, really? I have no clue. Oh, okay. I've never already heard of that brand. Oh, you... Hey, hey look what, what happened? Oh, what's going on over here? Hey, Pronghorn. We need another. Dude, we do need another set of horns yeah. for the mini truck. Yeah. It needs to go on the front of it. That one. These guys. Those Look at that. Sick. Name, yeah. name the animal. That's the old, I don't know. That's the old African deer. What is Eland. it? Eland. Eland. Yeah. They were the, like the biggest animal. They taste fire. They were some fire catching cooks. Look, that's a beaver. Oh, that's a beaver too. What's this one, Ty? That looks like the old muskrat. So do Is it? Do they have otter? that fluffy of a tail? Maybe an otter. I think it's gotta know. be like some kind well, of otter. Well, I've only seen them when they're in the water, so they're wet. They Here's a badger. Them, so I don't know. Yeah. Big badger guy. Raccoon. Big raccoon guy. There's a fox, some coyotes. I say we just get the eland and throw it in the bedroom of your house. I'm down. Or something. Anyways, that's pretty much what there is. We're gonna go pop a seat, hopefully next to a fan, and uh, start buying stuff. You guys stay tuned. Four three one. Yeah. Wow, just brought another one. Four, this is a bad idea. Should have came here, Banjo. That's the second gun, and it's not even the one I came for. We got an arsenal coming, that boys. Three? That's gun number three, and it's still not the one we came that's for. A, that's a big boy. That, I know you guys don't know what we got, but Banjo's gonna be on the ground after this one. Three out of four. 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 How's it going, folks? Well, it's the next day. So, we bought four pew pews, okay? So, we bought, I'm not gonna even tell you what we all bought, but if you guys are commenting, well, Flair, you're over here, you're filming the auction, it's a loophole for buying pew pews. It's not, okay? It was super legit that we bought the pew pews. I didn't grab them. The actual auction house took them to a business that does the FF, is FFL? That does the FFL transfers, and we went into there. I had to fill up the paperwork. They called in the background checks. It's literally the exact same process that I've when I've bought pew pews at Bass Pro Shops, Cabela Shields, whatever. So, there's not a loophole, okay? If there's a loophole, it's because the auction company is is breaking the law. These guys are super legit, so I just want to clarify that. It took basically all afternoon in order to get through the paperwork, get the pew pews back, and well, it's the next day, and we are at the glorious Walmart. Probably gonna get kicked out, but what do you do to break in pew pews other than buying things to shoot the pew pews with instead of just targets which we do have targets um we're thinking you know maybe watermelons pineapples apples oranges fun stuff to shoot with pew pews so we're gonna go inside and buy a bunch of targets and like i said we've bought four different ones so it's gonna be an afternoon filled with pew pew shooting i would say it's two of them i've never shot before like i've never shot that caliber or size of round and two of them i have before but they're kind of unique guns so with that being said you guys stay tuned oh here we go banjo big cabbage guy beats Shoot some beets. If you want to shoot beets, you, you can get some beets. You, I mean, sure. You, you like red cabbage? Odds, odds, Karen kicks us out. Oh, at least ten. They said there's two ten? of them that were just staring. That's a ten of ten. Right How many you want? I think so. Um, two and then two normal ones. So you got four heads of cabbage. Oh, oh, oh God. I'm, oh God. I'm you're getting away. You're getting a shower. Yeah, yeah they're, they're like, away. oh, banjo showed up. He smells. Let's turn this freaking sprayer on real quick. Thank there you me. go. Oh yeah, four, four heads of cabbage. Oh yeah, big orange guy here. Big sack of oranges for your banjo. There you go. Oh yeah, get that cantaloupe right there, buddy. Perfect. Big cantaloupe guy. Oh, and some, are these little watermelons or what are these guys doing? Personal, as if, what if I want to share it? All right, yeah, get, five bucks? Is it per pound? Huh? Or just 
Starbucks. Each? Is this each? Where's the big ones at? I ain't need that. Oh god, yeah. See, these are this five bucks. This is the bucks. same price. This is the same price for a freaking big chungus. Let's get a few of these guys. At least three. Three's fine. Three's fine. Oh yeah, get some potatoes in there for sure. Where's the off-brand stuff? We're balling on a budget. Where's Dr. K? Oh yeah. Pineapple. They're 87 cents. Oh, that stuff's gonna be good. They have this stuff in Mexico. Really? It's like actually I think it was Brazil we had like this. An apple juice? It's like apple soda. Fire. Really? It's absolutely fire. Sorry, we're in the way. Hang on. Mountain lightning. Mountain lightning? You, oh, I'm a big mountain lightning guy. Are you? Absolutely. You should get this. This is all adverse. Gross. This kid, this, this kid can leave. This kid can leave. Well, Dr. Mean, Thunder. Yeah, let's get Dr. Thunder. I like that. Dr. Thunder, Mount Lightning. Cream, yeah, I'm a big cream soda or, guy. Or, or root beer. Mm -mm. I'm can, feeling cream soda. It's flavorful though. Is it? We got four. That should be good. Well, that's a whole cart full of things Actually, to shoot. We have five. We got oh, really? Oh, we, we got he, pineapple. He was hiding that's, that for later. Yeah, but yeah, I was gonna say we can't shoot that. That's for you for later. But, why you roll your eyes, Banjo? Because you make that every joke. Every banjo. Third it's video. a funny joke, Banjo. You know it is. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys back at the house. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, here is the moment of truth for you guys. We are right in the backyard. You can see the house is right there, chilling. Um, but we've got all the pews to kind of put together, slash, 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 unbox, and then we're gonna get to pewing. So, what do you want to start with, Banjo? We gotta save the best for last, okay, probably. Let's start with the smallest. Well, well, we don't have to start like shooting with like we just gotta like present them to these to okay, the folks at let's home. Let's start with the smallest. Okay, smallest. so the we'll smallest. Okay, we'll go up. Right. We'll go up. Yeah. So the smallest caliber is this guy, which is a bolt action four. 10 shotgun it's a uh, wards western field so it's got to be old literally a bolt action shotgun 410 it shoots these tiny little bullets will show or uh, shells i should say not bullets this this is a, i didn't a lot of you guys at home probably didn't even know that this was a shotgun shell look at that can we duck on with this versus hang on this will be this will be this is where things are gonna get interesting this is you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about okay so leading into the second pew i guess oh did we grab we didn't grab normal 12s did we did you oh, grab trap right, loops? Right, right. So the second pew, uh, well we, okay, so we bought a 12 gauge. Let's just grab that guy, where's he at? All right, so we got a quick unboxing here. Nothing too crazy. It's just, uh, I mean, it's tiny. Like, I don't know how big it is, but it's a hammer. Oh God, this thing's gonna kick. Being a 12 gauge. How much did you pay for that thing? 100 I think $110 for this guy and then the the bolt action uh 410 was like also 110. I've never heard of a shotgun with going for $100 in my life. Um and that's the only reason why I bought this cuz it was literally $100. So perfect. So we've got 12 gauge 410 and then hold this guy. This is literally bigger than that gun. This is just the barrel. Look at this. Look at that. That's just the barrel. That's just the barrel. This guy is a double barrel, a side by side 10 gauge shotgun. Hammers. Dude, look how old that looks. I'm guessing this guy. Let's see. Now nah, you got it. Hang on, you just gotta flip this. There, you gotta flick that guy out. Let's see if Banjo's got it figured out. Oh yeah. No, 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 not quite. Oh, out of there. The this this doohickey has got to get down up in somewhere. Weird. Okay, okay I got it. You I gotta got figure it. it out. So see this thing right oh, there. Oh, I gotta I, got I gotta push that. Oh, button. okay, okay. There. There you go. There, I got it. There you go, almost, and then just kind of push it in. Yep. Look at that guy. So, do you gotta attach this other hammer? That yeah, they, it's right there. Is it screw on, or do they not? Uh -oh. They said when you were buying, it, it was missing a screw for the hammer. They said that? Yeah. I, how did I miss that? I don't know that. So we can only shoot one of you them. You can only shoot one. You can only shoot the left barrel. Does this thing have choke tubes? What do you think? No. <laughs> it's older. Look at that. That's a little no, thing. No, that's, that's a little that's, thing right that's there. That's good. No, you got it. So you can only shoot for today. We left can't pull. Barrel. Oh, they do have to. It has two triggers. Yeah. But you so, can't shoot. You can't shoot the right, dude. This thing's so heavy, bro. Our shoulders look. are murked. It's like so. It's got an extra hammer. So we just. I mean, you just have to find a little screw. I'm sure yeah, you can we figure could, out. We can figure it out. You can figure out something. But That's for today's hurt. sake, we have three and a half uh, ounce BBs? and five eighths BBs. Ounce and five eighths BBs. Ouch. This I'm only is, shooting this is my. This is my new duck hunting gun. Maybe early teal. Goose maybe, hunting. Maybe early teal. Goose hunting, not early maybe, teal. Maybe maybe dove. Don't listen to this guy. Little pit, little pidge, little rabbit, squirrel. All right, so um, there's that pew, and then last but not least, my personal favorite. Boom! We got a freaking AK, folks. A legit, a legitimate seven. Is it seven six two? Yep. Seven six two. Semi. Semi automatic. By the way, this is not a fully automatic. It's perfectly legal, but it's not a twenty two. A lot of the really cool looking guns that I have are just twenty twos. So it's kind of like the fake version. This is a legitimate AK forty seven. Like a legit one. Brand, brand new. Brand new. Yes. Brand new. Ready to rock and roll. Wood stock and everything. Paid close to a thousand dollars for this sucker, even though you can go buy them online for like 
500 bucks, 600 bucks, but they're so hard to find right now with everything everything going on. This guy racked up close to a thousand bucks, but I figured it's worth it. I mean, how many people out there can say they have a legitimate AK-47? I feel like not that many. Actually, probably quite a few people, but no, I've never met anybody that I think has one. Maybe Rob had one, but I never saw it. So either way, we're gonna save this guy for last. This is where we bought some of the pop bottles, watermelons to shoot with. We're gonna start with the smallest caliber from the 410 to the 12 to the 10 gauge, and then over to the good old AK-47. You guys stay tuned. You look good. Huh? Can you hear me? Huh? Why you look like that? What do you mean? Like, I've never seen a shotgun load like this either. Have you? No. Really? I mean, I've never had one. I've seen it. Is that three? That was, I think it holds four. Yeah. I just, I just didn't force it. Is there a safety? I think you put four in there, Rick. No, I didn't. Did we lose one? Maybe I did put four in there. All right, here we go. All right, you got, you on potato duty? Dude, why does he always does this? Right? There's no way that tastes good. Yeah, bite the tip off one. Okay, go ahead. I hit it. Oh, this thing slaps. Look at this. Dude, I like you this gun. Kick? No, it's, dude, it's light. It's like a okay. 22. Oh! I'm freaking crest with this gun, dude. Potatoes are the move. Dude. Hit me with another one. I think there's only three shots in here. I just saw only one left. All right, go ahead. That was, I, I waited was, too long. I waited. Was, All right, let's do one more and then you can go. You want an orange? Give me an orange. Dude, this might be my new favorite gun. This thing's sick, dude. Oh, oh, dude, this is it. This is my new fave. It's accurate. 100% my new favorite gun. So far, the AK mine. I mean, it. yeah, my shoulder kind of hurts now. <laughs> really? Yeah, a little bit. I think we need a new pad on it. It's, it just need a pad. It doesn't kick, it's just like uncomfortable yeah. pain. That thing is sick though, because it's it's got so little recoil that I feel like you could just keep shooting. That's my new rabbit gun, 100%. Rabbit squirrel gun. Oh God, yeah, I'm excited. You ready, Banjo? Hang on, I'll go get it. I wish you could just keep shooting. I want to get fast at it. How do you want it thrown? Do the same thing. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, dude, potatoes. All right, give me an orange. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh, you hit it. You hit it. The freaking orange. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you hit it pretty good. All right, these glasses can... Look at that. The old orange. Take a bite. And you say I'm weird. That had lead in it. <laughs> That's what makes you stupid. That was a... Hey, I need all the help I can get. I don't taste too bad. You like that? Oh, you jammed it. Now you got it. Yeah, I like it. Ready, Pool Jet? Sure. Pool Jet's got it. I don't got it. Far. Did you hit it? That, well, that was far as heck. Really? Banjo not good thrower or what? That was, that was out in yard. I didn't even see where it was going. Oh! That's, that's nice pretty good. Dude, I like that gun. That's, that's a, the coolest that's part neat, about that's it. That's a neat looking oh, gun there. Know. I like that gun. Uno Moss, baby. Let's Uno see it. Let's make it potato. rain, baby. Ready? Yep. I was to the left. Right. Left of it? Yeah. It's all right. Hey, like we're all pretty accurate you. with the gun, though. This thing's fun, though. It's a fun yeah, pew. It's fun. It needs a pad. That's it needs a pad. It's not too But, tough. anyways, on to... This guy's going to hurt. No, it's 12 gauge. Yeah, I know, but it's, I feel like that's still going to hurt. You think that's small? You don't think so? I mean, it's, I mean, it's just trap loads. Dude, though. look <laughs> Look at that you thing. pull that back? Yeah, I don't... I didn't... There you go. There you go. Look at that. That's so weird. That's crazy how small that is. You can literally just like throw that in like the back of your backpack when you're like hiking or something. Just whoosh. If any gun's gonna explode on us, it's gonna be this gun. You think so? You going first or what? Sure. Okay. You're loaded. Pull Cock. that guy back. Oh my goodness. I feel like... <laughs> it, can shoot, it can shoot three inch shells, which is crazy. These are only that two and three quarters. This is gonna hurt. Trap loads. I agree. No. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh no! Was it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Really? Oh, it don't even shoot it back at you. No, you gotta pull it out. All right, I gotta shoot this. That's the old one and done. That's the old one. That's the old one and done. Yeah. If you miss your first shot, you're fucked. Oh wow! Is it bad? It's not great. You ready for the ten gauge or what? Dang, your titties red. All right, here we go, dude. I feel like, you know, no. Oh. Oh yeah, that hurts. Yeah. I mean, it's just very forceful. Back. It's quick. Yeah, it's a very. Just... I like this pew. You ready for this pool jet? Sure. No safety. I guess just because that is. Uh, yep, you're all cock back. Banjo's on orange duty. Oh. 
Was I to the, where'd I shoot? I don't know. To the I don't least. know either. How'd that feel? It's got some oomph to it. it uh, you ready for this next one though? That's the real question. I don't know. I don't want to shoot this. No, come on, come on. I say we roulette for who shoots it first. Oh. I like that idea. I'm down. That's All right, we're fine. rouletting. Yes, <laughs> at least not me. Fans is on roulette duty. Dude, this thing, that's just like a, what do you think it was actually used for? Do you think it's made for hunting? Or do yeah. you think like back in the day they made this for some other re like reason? I think it's just goose hunting. Just big goose gun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What Even the double use. barrel, you think? Yeah, that's what they used to use. Really? Honey. That was just the deal. That was before semi automatic. What? I was gonna say, did they have a double barrel before the semi? So they're like, all right, instead of shooting one, we'll shoot two. And then some dude's like, you can still have one barrel and shoot more than one, yeah. two, and then have the semi. I mean, this gun was made, this, not this exact one, but this model was invented in 1889. Really? Big history gun. Big history. 1889? Yeah. So this gun was designed in 1889. Yeah. That's I don't know crazy. Exactly this one was this made, one, yeah. But that's, that's a, yeah, oh, it, no, it literally says Remington 1889. Yeah, so that's the model number. Gosh. Gotcha. I don't know if that's they might have a year on here. I don't know. Really? A barrel's kind of cool. You see that? Yeah, there's yeah, they did all these crazy designs yeah. on this barrel. That's crazy. And then they just got like some dents in it right there. This thing's probably seen some stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a year on it anywhere? I see one. Yeah, feel that. No, that'll feel good against your shoulder. <laughs> Comment down below what year do you think this was made based off of this? I mean there's a serial number i guess maybe you could how do you run can you like google serial numbers yeah probably on remington you can call them and do it really well if you guys want us to figure out how old this is let me know but all right spin spin the old wheel let's see what happens here okay here's here it is uncle banjo no nope. poppy rip. poppy rip. Poppy, rip. <laughs> what the hell all right i'm dead see you guys later banjo's gonna have a channel good luck dude it's a cannon what it might not hurt that bad because it's so heavy God, i'm like nervous I'm scared this thing's gonna of this go thing. off bro it did it close pretty good yeah it, it's okay. it if it doesn't lock tight I would not shoot it. Really? What would happen there? It blows up. Like the action will come out and it'll just instead of going that way, it'll just go that way. Give me my sunglasses. <laughs> okay, how do you how do you open the action right here? Yep. So lock it tight. Yeah, I mean, it's got a good lock. Good. Banjo, you just made me like 10 times more nervous. I'm just me. saying. I mean, it's a thing. Should I just shoot it not at a target just so I can like concentrate? Nah, nah, nah. So that's, I can just concentrate. Pull that hammer back and you're gonna shoot this in the air. For oh my god. Are we sure it's the back trigger? Dude, I'm shaking, bro. Give her hell. Oh my god, you see the wad? Dude, it went so oh. far. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not shooting it. Yeah, you are. No, Vanjo's got it. it. Oh my. And you already have bad shoulders. Oh, my shoulder's fucked. It is, it is gone, dude. All right, here you go. Is there a bruise? Oh, there'll be something Let's on there. Sure. Well, I want to, where'd they, where'd that, uh, hey, I got the, oh. Oh, rip. Where'd the other piece go? Oh, there's a BB in it. Hey, I hit it, Rick. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're spinning, oh, you're, you're not next? I don't want to go next. <laughs> This guy. Tie your necks, by the way. No, it's you. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yep. <laughs> right at the last second, Rick. Barrel's dirty. I don't think it was. Now you got it. Look yeah, how dirty it is. That's cleaner than a whistle. Go ahead. Now you got it. Give her the old blow. Yep. Blow that barrel. All right, so I'm throwing this up, but we're just going to film banjo so you guys can see it in slow mo with the effects of this big pew. 140 pounds versus this. You ready? Oh, it didn't even hurt that bad. <laughs> no, if it, it slipped out like that, oh, <laughs> I look and he's like, oh. <laughs> the gun wasn't even mounted. Oh, I'll, shoot that. I'll shoot it again. Look at the, <laughs> the gun wasn't even on his shoulder. He's just like, oh yeah, no, we're good. Throw me, throw me an orange. Oh, you want an orange? Yeah. Throw me an orange. Throw me an orange. Throw me an orange. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Wow, dude! I pull jet. You want to shoot it again? I mean, pull jet's got to go. I'll shoot it after. Pull All right. Though. I, I, it's not that big of a deal. It's just. Kind of feels might, like you got. A concussion you, I was, gonna, I was just it. gonna say, it feels like you get a concussion. Like when you yeah. hit it, you're just like, where? Your what's, head's just like. What state whoa. am I in right now? Hey, how's it going? Oh goodness! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy! <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was Imagine gonna be. Imagine no. both triggers. But, oh god! Oh, I'd be, rip. I'd fall. Your, sho your shoulder would be toast. <laughs> Absolutely toast. Wow! All right, I kind of want to shoot it again. I'm afraid like I'm gonna go half cocked back and let it rip, and it's just gonna go. Sh the gun's just gonna shoot. All right. Oh, Christ. Oh, okay, I'm out. I'm done. We're on, oh, that one hurt 10 times worse than the other one. I think my shoulder's out of its socket now. I didn't like that one. All right, on to the next. All right, the moment you guys have been waiting for. The old AK. Shoots a 7.62. Well, these are hog, like expensive hog hunting ammo. 
and uh, that's all they store half. So I know this is super, I mean, these are like over a dollar a shot. So at this point, this video, we're pretty deep in it with the, with the pews, with the ammunition. Am I, am I you struggling there, bud? What's going on here? Oh, there we go. I've never shot a 7.62, nor have I shot an AK-47. Just shot gonna, an AK once. You've shot an AK once? Yeah. Big AK guy? I play, I used to use it in COD. MW2, thing was pretty good. Pretty inaccurate, but damage was really high. I think we'll have the same results today. No! All right, we got a watermelon. Boom. Fully loaded. That, that did it. Yeah. Now it's on fire. Now it's on safe. All right, AK-47 versus pineapple soda. Fire in the hole. Oh! oh! Adios, amigo. How'd that feel? I got sprayed in the face with powder. Watermelon time? Yeah, let's shoot the watermelon. Get every last drop, Banjo. You're yeah, gonna need it tonight. Look at that. One bullet. Shoot. AK-47 versus a watermelon. <laughs> got jammed. Dude, this thing jams like crazy. We gotta need to get somebody out here to clean this sucker. All right. Let's get another watermelon out there. Shit! Oh my god, you're right. Look at the dirt from the bullets. Dear Who's god. Here? Rip. Oh, there you go. Oh, rip. Now you got it. Good watermelon right there or what? That was juicy. Can we save one? Keep her on it, yep. Yep, now you're on fire. Let her eat, Ricky. Oh! Oh, snap! Yep, jam. Oh! Dude, this gun. This gun's quality. I Look wonder if it's just these loads. You think so? Could. Oh, snap! Jeez and right. Did it jam again? Yeah. Hey, two pump chump. That's all this guy's good for. Gosh, dang banjo. Look, you tilled up my garden for me. Look at this. Dude, literally just shred. Watermelon. It's got a bunch of freaking dirt in it now. Let's get some soda up here. Boom. Channel Hello, your inner child playing Call of Duty. You still play COD, don't you? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, they have AK in the new game? I think so, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Big, big Warzone guy. Channel your inner Warzone then, buddy. Oh, already. Really? This is a quality gun. I'm, thank God I paid a grand for this thing. Shoot the cantaloupe! Oh! Shoot the soda. Oh! Shoot the dirt. Shoot the dirt. Oh, oh man! Shoot the dirt. Oh! Oh! See you later, Rick. Oh! Might as oh. well be a bolt action at this point. At this, yeah. yeah, at this point you might as well be bolt action. Banjo's on cleaning duty, I guess. What else? We got anything? We got one more watermelon banjo. Oh, we got and some soda. Let's just pile everything we have left. Just let her eat. All right, let's show them what's going on here. So, for the finale, here we go. We've got two bottles of soda, about nine oranges, a potato, a couple heads of cabbage, and a watermelon. Basically, for the finale, we're all gonna take a pew. I'm gonna do, do you want the AK or do you want the four time? I'll let you choose. I get to choose one? Oh yeah. What are you vibing on? I don't know, the AK kind of jams a lot. So you want the 410? Sure. Okay. I got this guy. So you've got the 10 gauge. Pool Jet's gonna be on 410 duty. I'll be on AK duty. And we're all gonna just let her eat. You guys stay tuned. Well, folks, uh, this thing, the 410 guy broke already. So uh, we got one shell in it, but it won't go through the rest. So I loaded the old 12 gauge and I'm gonna go with Kimbo. Pool Jet now has the AK. Banjo's right. got the 10 gauge. Let's let her eat. Everybody ready? This? Are we doing three, two, one, shoot? Sure. Aim. You guys ready? Yep. Three, two, one, shoot. Yeah, I'd say she's pretty much Oh, gone. there's still one left. Oh, really? Wait, you gotta cock it. Oh! Adios to the orange! Hit that soda. Yeah, hit that soda. Oh! Rip. That was a good soda. Don't hit the cabbage. Yeah. Shoo! Not much left of it, folks. That first shot really let her eat. Okay. Really let her eat, son. Not much left. Just a bunch of fruit that my dogs will come and eat later, I'm sure. Should bring all the animals up here. I'm sure they'd enjoy some watermelon or something. Anyways, that's pretty much it. The AK Jams 410 already broke. The 12 gauge, no issues with. And the 10 gauge has a missing screw. So, welcome to buying used pews. But that's, how, that's what happens. You buy them really cheap. There might be things wrong with them. We're going to take everything into a gunsmith. Get everything cleaned, taken care of, rebuilt. Put back together life will be good we've got four more pews in the arsenal now what comment down below what is your favorite pew that we bought do you like the ak you like the 10 gauge you like the 12 gauge you like the 410 which one's your favorite my favorite is still the ak even though it jams i just feel like that's a cool gun i do like the bolt action and i like the 10 gauge 12 gauge little guy is pretty cool too but it's just you know it's a 12 gauge nothing too crazy but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode again comment down below what's your guys's favorite and do you want us to do more episodes like this maybe with the same pews or go buy more pews but do you like us just buying a bunch of stuff to shoot and you guys gotta watch the explosions in slow motion Comment down below what you guys thought of it. And remember, Beefcake merch is now available. We'll be linked down below. You guys can get hats and t-shirts and a bunch of other stuff. And you can get 15% off by using promo code Flare. We'll be linked down below. Go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.